hi welcome to driving tv and i hope you are well in this video i'd like to share with you some reversing tips for learner drivers so when you are reversing what should you be doing and how you should be reversing and what kind of thing you should be looking for these are the things i want to share with you so that you fully understand how to reverse a car when you are reversing let's start the lesson So number one, for you to practice this maneuver to reverse, find a place which is quiet so that there is no distraction from other cars. So you could practice many times until you get it right. So find a place which is nice and quiet and there's not many cars around so that you could practice many times until you get it right. So number one, find a quiet place for you to practice this maneuver. Number two, position yourself so that you are ready to reverse okay so say the examiner said for you to do a parallel parking or do a bay parking and you need to reverse the car for you to reverse if i were you i would position myself so that i am prepared to reverse the car and what is the position the normal driving position that's how you're going to be when you are driving normally okay now for you to reverse it is difficult for you to reverse from this position because you need to look mainly at the back so for you to reverse comfortably, it is best you position yourself in a way so it is easier for you to reverse. So the best way to position is to face yourself towards a little bit that way so that then it makes it easier for you to look at the back and look at the front and look all around and it makes it easier because remember when you're reversing, this becomes the front of your car, okay? So when you're reversing, you should be looking at the back mainly and for you to look at the back mainly you need to have yourself positioned in a way so that it's easier for you to look so where do you look look at the back mainly there okay so that's the way you should be looking and if you are in this position it makes it difficult for you to see at the back okay so position yourself in a way so that it's easier for you to look at the back mainly okay so that's number two number three is the seat belt when you are driving normally you will have to have the seat belt on by law you have no choice you have to have the seat belt on but when you are reversing you don't have to have the seat belt on you could take the seat belt off when you're reversing so it's up to you you could either have the seat belt on or you could take the seat belt off when you are reversing okay so remember when you're driving normally you will have to have the seat belt on because that's the law when you're reversing you could take the seat belt off because you are allowed to take it off when you are reversing but make sure when you've done the reversing and you need to go forward again, you must put the symbol back on again. This is important because if you don't, you will fail your test. And this is why I say for many learners is that even though you are allowed to take the seat belt off, if I were you, I would leave it on. That way, before you go again, you're not going to forget to put the seat belt back on again. So if I were you, I would leave the seat belt on, but like I said, by law, you don't have to have the seat belt on when you're reversing. If you do take it off, put it back on again. This is important or you will fail your test for not wearing because it is the law, you will have to have the seat belt on when you're driving. Now holding the steering. Normally when we drive, we have both hands on the wheel here, okay? When you're reversing, especially when the car is going straight and you don't have to do any steering, you could have your hands on top here and you could have your left hand either on your lap or you could have it on back of the seat here okay so you could have one hand here and one hand there and reverse like that or you could have the left hand on your lap it's up to you but you could have both hands which i prefer have both hands on the wheel and reverse like that so if you can have both hands on the wheel if not you are allowed to have one hand on the top as long as you are going straight and have one hand on the back of that seat okay now you can only do that if the car is going in a straight line if you need to do the steering make sure you have both hands on the wheel you can't steer with one hand okay that is not the way you should be steering with one hand when you are steering you should always have both hands on the wheel okay so if you are going straight you could have one hand on the wheel if you need to steer you need to go into a bay or something have both hands on the wheel on your steering now regards to the side mirrors can you adjust 
on your reversing yes you can adjust so say you are doing a parallel parking or a bay parking for you to see where the pavement is or the curve is or where the side line is on the base you could adjust the side mirrors so you adjust it in a way so that you could see whatever you're looking for and then before you go again after the maneuver after the reversing make sure you put it back on again the way it was okay so can you adjust the side mirrors yes you can before you go again put them back on the way it was before you go again okay and the reason you are adjusting the side mirrors so that when you're reversing you could see where things are okay so when you're looking at the back make sure you use the side mirrors to see where the lines are or the curve are okay so basically you are looking at the back mainly looking at the back and every now and again what you're doing is you're looking at the side mirrors And that's what you're doing okay so look at the back mainly and every now and again look on the side mirrors to see where things are observations on your reversing backwards you have to make sure that you look all around constantly you look all around making sure that there's nothing around there's nobody around so when you start the reversing before you start look all around make sure it's all safe make sure nobody around okay and then you look at the back mainly and every now and again look around okay so i've looked around okay and now i start going backwards i look at the back mainly and every now and again what am i doing i'm looking all around making sure nothing changes because if there is something coming or someone coming stop wait for them see what they do if they wait for you or if they go let them go if they wait look around quickly again and keep going again while you go make sure you keep looking who just stopped for you if they start to go again what do you do you stop again making sure that if they want to go let them go so observation is the most important when you're reversing keep looking around make sure there's no one coming keep the speed low okay this is really important when you are reversing make sure the speed is low maintain a speed so, so that it is easy for you to know what's happening around okay so keep your speed low maintain a good speed so that when you're reversing so that you know exactly what's happening if the speed is too high then things will happen and you will miss what is happening around okay so keep your speed low so that you don't miss anything what's happening around now which way to steer for me to take the car the way i want this is important many learners they do have the problem of not knowing which way to steer to take the car whichever way they want to take okay easy way and the simple way for you to remember is the way you want to take the back that's the way you steer very simple you want to go towards left you want to take the back towards left which way do you steer you steer left you want to take the back right you steer right so the way you want the back of your car to go, that's the way you steer. And this is the simple way for you to remember so that you know. The way you want the back to go or the way you want to close the gap, that's the way you steer. So let me repeat, the back of your car needs to go more left because that's the way you want to close the gap. Which way do you steer? You steer left because that's the way you want to close the gap. You want to go towards right because that's the way you want to go more what, what do you do you steer towards right so the bottom line is the way you want the back to go that's the way you steer simple okay many learners they get confused because they think that well i'm looking that way now which way do i steer and in simple i say to my learners is the way you want to take the back that's the way you steer simple when you finish reversing make sure you straighten the wheel before you finish so you go into a bay or you've just done a bay parking or you've just done a parallel parking soon as you finish make sure the wheel is straight before you finish the maneuver because before you go again you don't want to go and hit the pavement or go right without knowing because if the wheel is not straight it will go the way the wheel is so before you finish make sure the wheel is straightened make sure it's straight before you finish and last is to practice okay keep practicing until you get it right until you are comfortable okay so it's practice practice and more practice until you get it right 
until you feel comfortable until you know exactly that you are in control when you are reversing okay so keep on practicing in a quiet road until you get it right and this is the secret of getting this reversing right doing it right knowing exactly what you need to do okay so keep on practicing until you get it right that's the secret of learning or making this maneuver so okay that's it for this video and i hope the video helps if it does please do make a comment what you think of the video and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now